Here we are. The seventh uh, of December, sixteen. I'll just show you around. Sure. Here come little Alice. My little wild cat. And she can't watch you hide that well. Alice! She won't let me touch her. Little old sod. Right, let me show you what I've done here. I went to Wales and got this off some lovely people a couple of months ago. That was an LT84 horse box. That's what it was. Uh, diesel. 2.4 diesel. Drivable. Well, run and drivable in the yard. We drove it in the situ here. Didn't drive it, brought it on a trailer from Wales. Drove it in the yard, parked it there, and I proceeded to chop it up. I ain't finished yet. There's a lot of good bits on it, really. If somebody, I'll see some pictures on YouTube. A lot worse. All them wheel arches are good. Look, they all be saved, really, don't they? And. Uh, Anyway, I got the engine out, the diesel pump was leaking, injection. I had that all sorted out. I got loads of spare parts for it. I took most of it off. I'm going to take it, take it right to bits. The back axle, twin wheel back axle. It's got all the wheels. Got all the, a whole lot. I'm going to, I've got the engine in the garage. Yeah, look at them wheel arches. And all in here nice. It's all sound and good. I see some on that YouTube core. The work what them poor old boys are doing. What the, they could put a whole bloody quarter in section in and make it all nice and solid. Hello Alice, what are you doing in here? Hey, you want to go for a ride in my convertible horse box? Right, this is the one over here, what I like, what I bought, been standing 10 or 12 years. This bus. That was an invalid bus wheelchair, people. Uh, I've done a little tiny bit of work on it, a couple of little rusty bits here somewhere, very little, that's 1987, nice and solid, I ain't touched none of this, the throttle I had to do, the throttles always go wrong, uh, I sat in it and have a cup of tea, <laughs> nice high top, I might convert it out somewhere or other, make it a bit better. I'm going to have this engine out here, put that diesel engine in. Good old vehicle. That's uh, January 87 LT31. I don't particularly like them old sliding doors. So a man on YouTube cut one in half and put an opening door on there which is uh, quite a good idea, but I'd do away with that big window, I suppose. A lot of hassle and a lot of work. They was have one or two little welding jobs I've done around the edges, and a couple of dents. Not too much. That back bumper was cut in half for a big chairlift thing to go in there. That bumper on there now, there's the front bumper, all that one over there. <laughs> the horse box front bumper. It's got all special door locks and stuff on it. All these gizmos, I'm going to sell all these. 
uh, for hooking the wheelchairs up. Special things on the floor down there. Them runners down there. Where the f wheelchairs fit in. That's all gonna... I don't need all that. Someone's pinched one or two of the lights around the edges here, look. Which is a pity, really. Like, does that one there still work? Good, isn't it? Solid old thing. I ain't done much to it at all. Right. What I'm going to do now is show you the engine, what I'm going to put in it. I'll let him move this old motor out of the way. I'll move this out of the way and then I'll show you. Right. That's got that out of the way. Oh, I'll roll it. It's a bit hazy, that picture. Uh, hello, Ellis. <laughs> she followed me about, little old sod. What are you doing, Ellis? Hey? Right, this is a nice, tidy place to be in here. I lugged that engine up here on my own. It's bloody heavy. Took the gearbox off first. Uh, I've had the pump rebuilt. Top man from Brandon. Done that for me. Uh, I'll start her up. <coughs> right, what have I got to do? I don't know whether you better watch what I'm doing. I want to I've got an electric pump there coming off with this and I'll put that on there. Right. This this wire heats the heater plugs. Give that a little while. <coughs> Where's that other wire? This wire here works a starter motor. This one, I think. taken over but when they you were driving them I had one in the Volvo lovely till I drove it down the motorway and the cam belt broke and then the cam laid in the top there in four pieces of two I think it was yeah huh. broke it all up that was a shame people swear about the engines but they don't maintain them properly if you put the new belt on, I like this old belt because that with the do the water pump is adjustable. Where are we there? Look. I ain't got that bloody tensioner spring loaded thing. I don't particularly like that. I'd rather have this one, have it like that. 
that's the old fashioned one. I marked the pump. There's a timing down in that hole there. You can't see it now, but that's top dead centre on the flywheel there. The, the camshaft has got a mark across when that's in the right place there. So you can put your belt back on and get the engine top dead centre time properly. And then if you get this on a little mark here somewhere, on the edge here, there it is down there. If you get that round here, you should better put a pin through there somewhere, straight through and lock this in the right place. In there. I marked it all because I want to pull up the bits again. I've got to take the gearbox off and check the clutch. Probably put a new clutch plate in it. And uh, that will be a game perhaps for the new year. Trying to fiddle it in that bus outside. I will have to get my mate to give me a hand on it. That's an awkward bloody thing, and that's all right put taking it out of the convertible horse box. Huh. Uh, I've got plenty of beer to be drinking. Lovely in here, isn't it? Look out there. What's the time? Half past nine. That is. I've got a lot of spare parts about you. Mercedes bonnets and tailgates and old fashioned bits. All sorts. I chucked 12 lovely Mercedes engines in the scrap and got 350 quid for them. Bloody shame. Nobody wanted them. I couldn't bloody sell them. That one there, I'll let it go soon, I reckon. That's a two owners, I think. From new, done 130,000. Uh, Joe, diesel, good old motor. Yeah, I'll let her clean it up a bit and start it, I think, in the near future. That soon start. Right, I'm going to stick this on YouTube. See how I get on with this one. Bye.